Turn now to the strange story of a woman who killed her husband by poisoning with eye drops. She pled guilty on Thursday, sentenced to 25 years in prison, and now we're hearing from her husband's family. Diane Macedo spoke with them. This morning, a South Carolina woman is sentenced to over 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to killing her husband with eye drops. I am truly sorry. Prosecutors say motivated by greed, nurse Lana Clayton secretly poisoned her wealthy husband by putting eye drops in his water for three days, taking his computer and phone so he couldn't call for help. He lay there helpless Thursday and Friday, waking up periodically from his misery, thirsty, drinking more water. Lana claimed her husband, Stephen Clayton, was abusive and that she poisoned him only once, hoping to punish, not kill him. I did impulsively put the visine in Stephen's drink, and I did it with the intent to make him sick and uncomfortable. Her attorney says she expected the result to be like this scene from the movie Wedding Crashers, where Bradley Cooper's character gets sick after drinking eye drops. Oh, no. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, Stephen's sister Rosemary says the reality was much darker. I think my brother was screaming for his life. Stephen Clayton was found dead on July 2018 at the bottom of the stairs of his Lake Whaley home. Police initially thought he'd suffered a fatal fall or a heart attack, but Rosemary says Lana immediately started acting strangely. Financial records, papers, artwork, uh, mementos, everything that you can think of that she could throw into the fire pit, she threw into the fire pit, including their bed. She threw their bed into the fire pit. She says her brother's will also seemingly vanished. So your brother told you he had a will, your mm -hmm. nephew saw the will, mm -hmm. and now the will is gone. That's right. And nobody knows what happened to it. After getting toxicology results, officers called to the Clayton House reported finding several suicide notes, the house full of gas, and Lana Clayton lying on her bed, breathing but unconscious. After recovering in the hospital, she was arrested in Stephen's death. Whatever she thinks that um, my brother could have done, to cause her to want to make him ill. There's no excuse for taking somebody's life. Alana Clayton pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and unlawful malicious tampering with food. The judge said of all the cases, this one takes the cake for most bizarre. Mm, oh, my sure goodness. Does. It does. All right. Thank you so Thank much, you. Diane. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.